What's up guys, Togubi here and welcome back to more Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we made it here to the Winkle Realm and I'm not gonna bother high jumping up there, but the important part is that we got the last Beanstar piece. You see we have the top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left, which means we now have all four pieces of the Beanstar. And if we check the map, yeah, see we need to head to Bean Bean Castle. So... I guess we'll just be heading back and do- yeah, we're gonna need to high jump. Uh, no, we're not actually. Never mind. I don't know. I, uh, do we need a high jump to reach the pipe? I don't know. I feel like you do, but I can't remember. So, and I honestly, I, I know it's quick to take the barrel maze back, but there is a pipe that will go. No, you don't need to. You just need the hammers. There's a pipe. Instead of the one we used before, we can take pipe three, and that'll take us basically right back to the castle, which is why it's a good idea to do that one last, because you are you end right next to a pipe. Though really, I mean, none of the three are that far, since the other two you could do last are right there in the Bean Bean field. So, yeah, this isn't a point of no return, right? Yeah, because I know there is a point of no return coming up, and this is not it. So it is completely safe to do this without making anything no longer doable. You get a cool animation of the bean star coming together. The bean star is revived! And then you get the actual bean star, and it doesn't play the bean star get jingle, it just plays the regular noise. Hmm, so the bean star is finally back to normal. A message has arrived from Bowletta, I shudder to think. Our orange Game Boy Advance this time. Very good! You fools made make fine scavengers. Now I want red and green to bring that bean star to me. The drop point is at the far end of the ocean at that crypt for cruddy jokes called Joke's End. You can't get to Joke's End by walking on the seafloor, so don't try it, cretins. Yeah, so this is that area that we've been seeing this whole game that you can't go to, that blue thing that's called Joke Sand, and oh boy, that area is oh quite, quite interesting. Come here after you learn how to cross the sea surface, and don't lose the beanstar on the way, Butterfingers. I actually hate Butterfingers. Halloween was just a few days ago. I can't stand the smell of Butterfingers. My friend loves them, and he was eating them, and I had to, like, just walk away just because of how bad his breath smelled afterwards. Ugh. Hmm, but if he, she... Uh, it plans to return Princess Peach when we give it the Beanstar, then it can't be planning to use Peach's voice to awaken the Beanstar after all. That would see- THAT WOULD SEEM TO BE SO! Toad's with the voice. And the waggly finger! <gasps> we get to see it in all its giant glory. Seriously, how is his finger that big? Relax, all of you. We can just give the friend fiend this! Oh, a fake Beanstar, of course! That is the least convincing looking fake Beanstar of all time. You got a fake bean star! Of course Luigi gets the fake one and Mario gets the real one. Also, please take along a change of clothes for the princess. I'm sure that Princess Peach likely tried to escape, doing untold damage to her lovely dress. Just thinking of it drives me mad! Curse that Bowletta! At least this old servant can help in some small way. So he has another suitcase, this one's pink. You got Peach's extra dress! I kind of felt like it would have made more sense if they give you that just in case she rips it going through Teehee Valley, but like, whatever, it doesn't really matter. To get to Joke's End, you have no choice but to travel above the ocean waves. Perhaps if you go to the beach, you'll find a way to get there. Apparently there once was quite a fine surfing spot at one of this land's beaches. Aw, oh, the hair. Excellent! Then the two of you will execute our daring plan. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, he actually does give us the money. You want a little Beanstar wager, so here are your mushroom coins. 99 trillion, 999 billion, 999 million, 999,999 of them. Wow. Lucky and wow. Oh, look at all that money. That's awesome. At today's exchange rate, 99 trillion, 999 billion, 999 million, 999,999 mushroom coins comes to... 99 Bean Bean Coins! <laughs> Oh, the inflation of mushroom coins is so bad. Look at that. You, you do, I think you do get the 99 coins, but like, still, compared to getting a hundred trillion. I don't know, I always thought that was kind of funny. Well, kind of funny, I don't know, I thought it was really funny. Uh, if we head down here, I think there's new stuff at the gear shop, right? Am I correct in this? Uh, yeah, come on. Alright, let's see. Yes, we have a few new things. We've got the Beanstar Pants, which on Mario give him 10 less defense than the Iron Pants. 
Um, however, they give him, they get rid of the heavy G, which is good, because honestly, I don't like it, because it messes with his hammer. And it gives him first strike, which is really good. That means you always go first, regardless of speed. So that's very good. Uh, and let's see, on Luigi, it would be even with whatever he has equipped, but it gives him first strike. So there's no reason not to equip that, besides if you want Mario going before Luigi, I guess. Uh, Peasley Slacks on Mario would just... Okay, so the Peasley Slacks are the same thing as the Iron Pants, just with the Light G instead of Heavy G. So they'd give Luigi uh, 10 defense, but I don't know... See, the problem is Light G lowers your jump damage, so it's not really that great, even though it does make it easier to defend. And the Queen Bee Jeans will, they don't give an effect, but they give a boost to both health and defense on both bros. So it's actually much better than buying the Beanstar Pants just to get rid of the, the lowered, the heavy G on Mario. Plus, plus you can see like these stat boosts are great. And we already have so much speed. I'm just going to buy two pairs of these, one for Mario, one for Luigi, and cry because no sound effects. And let's see how we're doing on badges. That was actually kind of silly because, uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of helpful because we are going to be going to Joke's End, which is a really tough area. However, there will be a bunch of, like, uh, side quests we can do before that. So here's the Salvage Badge, which uh, gives a lot of power, but not very much BP. In fact, I don't think it gives any BP at all, it seems. But it also gives you, it attracts monsters that have items. That is completely worthless because we have the Game Boy Hero SP. Uh, this uh, gives less power than that, but power D, I think that's when you do a counterattack, it can lower the foe's power. And then the Brilliant Badge just gives raw stats. So on Mario, it would trade 20 BP for 25 power, and on Luigi, it would trade 8 BP for 20 power. Ah! Uh, I mean, that's kind of good, but honestly, having... Well, do I even need that much BP, honestly, because... I mean, to be honest, I don't think I really need this much BP, because the Bros Rock is really good to get it on early on in the game, because the 20 power isn't that great, but the 20 BP is really useful. However, at this point, I have 50 natural BP, so it's not, it's not really like the uh, badge is making a super big difference, since the, the most expensive attack is only 4 BP, and I end up healing with Syrup every... Uh, pretty recently, so I think I'm actually going to I Think I'm actually going to buy this and equip it on both bros and finally get rid of the bros rock and bros badge Just because of how much natural BP I have and then I'll make sure to uh, Give Mario the boost on BP next time he levels up. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'll buy one of each uh, Or one for each bro as you see I spent quite a bit of money there But I have so much and I could go to sell with no sound effects as usual Bros badge, I don't remember if that's something you can buy, but it doesn't even sell for that much. Spiny badge, high end badge. See, Bros Rock sells for a lot. As you see, it normally sells for 200, and with the stash boost, actually, something I can show off. You see, it gives 92% up. Now, if I back out, leave, and we have sound effects again. Hooray! Come here and go to equipment. Actually, let me check something. See, Mario has 89 stash, Luigi has 84, so it'd be better to equip on Mario. Plus, I don't really need the Excite Spring anymore, so I'm actually going to give Mario the Cobalt Necktie, which will double his stash points. Now check this out. Look at that, 178 stash. See, look at the speeds, 84 and 79. There's really no need to have that, like, always go first thing. Now look at, with that, basically the equivalent of having three bros, look at the, uh, I should have equipped that before buying, just, it's good to equip that always before shopping, look at this, 100% up, everything maxes out to be 100% up. This doesn't quite hit it, like, wow, you really need a lot of stash, I don't think you can go over 100% up, but you see now everything, like, sells for so much more, uh, did I ever go over this? I don't know, the prone suit's not even good. Oho G wear, I'm gonna hold on to because that's hard to get. Bull trousers, there's only one of. Shroom bells, don't need. Street jeans, don't need. Iron pants, will hold on to because that's the only one in the game. Spike badge, I have a spiny badge A, and I have one of those, so I don't need both spike badges, so I'll sell one. These I'm gonna hold on to. High end badge, yeah, because I think these are ones you can only get through, like, uh, side quests and stuff, so anyway. 
I think I'll use the Cobalt Necta on Mario for now. It's gonna make him get so many more lucky hits is the only thing, but I mean we're already super overpowered so it's not too big a deal. If it does get to be too much, I'll probably just unequip it. How am I doing on syrups, I wonder? 33 regular, 11 super. I'm gonna actually stop in the item store and buy some syrups. Not that I really need to. I don't think you actually at any point in this game need to buy... Oh, they only sell... Oh, no, 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 they do sell super syrups. I'm gonna buy up to... Oh, wow, these are actually really expensive. I only get 50% off. I have 11. I'll buy 9 just to get to 20. You can see you can actually buy ultra syrups, which restore 100 BP. There's no need for that. See, this recovers 40. Now you can actually buy max mushrooms, which are all HP, max nuts, which are all HP on both bros, and max syrups, which are all BP. There's no need to buy max syrups, really, because, like, an ultra syrup is 100 BP, so there's no need to go for this. Max nuts, uh, we'll probably find some at some point, but I'm actually just going to buy one of these, just in case I don't find one, just because it's a very important to have at least one max nut. Uh, for later in the game Like I'm not going to spoil why I'm just saying if you if you're rushing through the game And you're not gonna be stopping in chest, uh, not chest Chest what the heck am I saying? If you're not gonna be stopping at like uh, All the question mark blocks along the way to why, aren't, why am I going to the University if you're not gonna be stopping and picking up every item to try to get all the items and you don't think you're gonna be able to get a max nut. I'm really going the wrong way right now, jeez. Okay, the correct way you need to go is this way, because, oh, no. well, we can just get into a battle with, again, no sound effects. It's, it's no sound effects is being worse than normal. It's really weird. Uh, I need to get this video finished recording, but we're only at like 12 and a half minutes, so I wanna go a bit longer. Because we should actually get some stuff done instead of just buying items. What was I actually starting to say there? I cannot remember now. Uh, yeah, you're just gonna need a max nut for later in the game. An ultra nut could probably do it, but I don't know if, how much HP we're gonna have by the point we need that. So, just if you're rushing through the game, make sure to buy one of those, because they're very necessary. Like, oh, no. oh, come on! Also, I don't like how we don't get the little star sound and like Mario and Luigi saying like, let's go, because I love that sound, so. Look at how little experience we get for this. Anyway, head in this cave after doing that. No need to save just because of how much money we have. Actually, I probably should save. But anyway, you come in here. I wonder if we'll get these sound effects. Whoa, I was wondering who that might be, and it turns out to be those Mario Bros again. You guys have the best time, and why we just now finished mastering a brand spanking new hammer making technique. You want us to re reforge your hammers for you? You don't even get the option. In that case, this would be the debut of our new hammer making technique. We'll get right to reforging. Here we go, on your toes. This is actually pretty cool. He ha they hammer each other into it. Imagine hammering a hammer into a hammer. Ooh, that's some fine work we did. These are definitely the finest hammers available. They're even more powerful than before. And then you get the ultra hammers. If you played any Mario RPG, whether it be the, uh, I mean this one or like the Paper Mario, you know you get Hammer, Super Hammer, Ultra Hammer. With these hammers, you can break any kind of rock, any kind at all. We've used all our talents in making these hammers. May they serve you well. So now, as you see, we have Golden Hammers, which can break the black rocks, which means we now have a lot more of the world available to us. I shouldn't say a lot, it's just a little bit. Anyway, we have another one of these Thwomp games. This is only 500 coins, and I have like 5,000. So I'm not gonna bother like going back and saving and resetting. As you see now, we have black rocks. I'm gonna break the one on the right. All right, I got the money bag, that's not bad. I think that's 700 coins, 800 coins, nice. So I made a 300 return. So that's good, so I'm up 300 coins. So if I lose one, I'll only be at down 200 as opposed to down 500. Uh, the right one had the money last time. I'm gonna go middle. Yes, oh, oh, awesome. You got Secret Scroll 2. Now this one's for Luigi, as evidenced by being green. You can now use a new bros attack in battle. So this is the last bros attack in the game. We now have all eight, and if we check our key items, you see uh, we actually no longer have the bean star pieces. We have Peach's extra dress, Princess Peach's lovely dress. We've got the fake bean star, a cheap looking plastic fake. The real one, a powerful sleeping grant of wishes. 
and we now have secret scroll two. Uh, secret scroll one is jumping secrets, a, se a scroll inscribed with hammer secrets. So this is going to be uh, the fourth and final bros attack for Luigi. And now that we also have these hammer upgrades, we now have every upgrade available in this game. There is nothing left. We are really approaching the final chapter. I'm actually going to save that I got that so easily. That's awesome. Uh, are we still level 34? Oh, my money's going to take a plummet. Uh, now, part of why I was saying I need to get this recorded is because it is 4.45, and there is a Nintendo Direct in 15 minutes, and I really would like to watch that, so... Uh, hopefully I can get this done and wrapped up by then, but uh, I should be able to. There's no reason I wouldn't be able to. Why was I in the pause menu? Oh, right, we are level 34. I, I could have seen that on that screen. Gosh dang it. Anyway, so that's gonna be goodbye to Sledge and Mallet. They don't appear later on in some, like, little cameo. And as far as I know, I don't think they're in any other games. I don't think they have cameos later on in the series. Now, if this stupid Lakitu could leave me alone. I would like to go around... No, 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 Oh, wow, just barely avoided that one. I'd like to go around to places where there are black rocks that we still have to break. And I'm not going to be doing this in the order that we came across the rocks. I'm just going to be doing this in an order that's going to be kind of convenient, I guess. I don't know. Now, I think if we head over here... I believe there's supposed to be a black rock somewhere around here or something. Right? Because I know I know we're missing something in South Bean Bean. It wouldn't be down here because this is how you get to Har Hall Studio. Right? Nothing up here. It's not on top of the trees. You can't head off in any direction from here. So then it's not over here. And I believe down just goes straight to Har Hall Studio. But let me just check. Right? Right? Yeah, there's nowhere else to go from the studio. Okay, so it's not down here. Alright, so then I'm thinking... Okay, I think I see where we need to go. We need to head west from here. Oh, 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 I know where it is, okay. I know where we need to go. I just forgot about this little area over here. Right down here. No? What? Alright, well, it's not down there, because that's the airport. Jeez, I am really having trouble finding this, and I'm just wasting time. Is it over here? No, this is a pipe. What the heck? I am trying to figure out where this is. This is going to... Yeah, that goes over to the Chuckle Huck Woods. So it has to be over here. Why can I not find it? What? I could have sworn I remember there being a black rock. Maybe that was a gray rock? Or is it over here? It's over here. Awesome. I don't even remember this bridge existing. So anyway, over here... You've got one of mushroom in that block, and a coin block over here. And then right up there, this is the last Chuckle Bean in South Bean Bean. There we go. That is all of them for the South. Let me just mark that off on the list. And I think that's going to do it for this episode of Martin Luigi Superstar Saga. In the next episode, we will finish up getting the last couple of beans in uh, Bean Bean Outskirts. Actually, we're getting really close now that we have the black... Uh, now that we have the ability to break, bl blah, 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 break black rocks with the ultra hammers, we can get to parts of the BNB outskirts that we haven't been able to before. And there's a few more places we need to go that we can access new stuff, such as I know there are black rocks up on Hoo Hoo Mountain that'll get us a couple of beans. And also in Tihi Valley, those should be the only black rocks I think we have, if I'm correct about that. And. Yeah, and then there's there there are a few in Guarhar Lagoon and the Bean Bean Outskirts, but those are for uh, something else actually that we will, if I have time to doing the rest of the beans in the next episode, we will get to that, and it'll be time to head off to Joke's End. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.